Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a clone or model of yourself in Roblox Studio like this one in this video. So let's get into this tutorial. Hey guys, as you saw in the beginning of this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a model of yourself. And pretty much what you can do with this is if you have a game and you want to show who made it, which would be yourself. You could make a little section of the game where there's a statue of yourself that says who made the game. And if you had other people make the game, you could put models of them and say like what things they did for the game. Or you can just have it for your game or whatever use you want pretty much. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So what you want to do first is make sure you have the toolbox the Explorer and the Properties panel. You won't need the Properties as much, but if you really, you really at least need these two. So, if you don't have any of them, you can go into View and find them and just click them to get them in here. And now what we want to do is press Play. So pretty much what we want to do is find us. Now, as you can see, there is going to be two of us. One of them is as player one in the workspace, but there's also a player one in players. But the one in the workspace is the right one, and the reason for that is because the player one in the players is just the data of your player. It just has the player scripts and all that, which is really just not the actual model part of it. But if we go into workspace, it shows like all your body parts and stuff, and it actually is you. So pretty much what you want to do is you want to select it and right click it and you want to copy it. And now what you want to do is you want to go into workspace, right click it and do paste into. And as you can see now we have a little us in here that is named player one if you're in studio when you do it so because in studio it just calls you player one as you can see here, here and there so and in the workplace it calls you there so what you want to do now is pretty much find yourself in here you don't want to accidentally get yourself but you're going to find yourself and if you want you can rename it and you can call it your name so I'm going to do firewolf gaming and there we go it's called firewolf gaming now so oops what have I done Ah. but anyway just ignore that I don't know why that's in here right now but what we want to do now is we want to do save to Roblox and pretty much you want to do create new and you want to name it whatever I'm just gonna call it fire W you don't need a description you can unlock it allow comments or whatever and you can press finish and now if we go up to our profile up here and go to creations and go down here as you can see we have fire w here but pretty much what this image means is it still has to be approved for it to display the image of it because sometimes when people make models it's stuff that are against the rules of roblox so they just have to check it to make sure but there's they should approve of it because it's just a model of yourself that's not bad at all and there's pretty much a 99% chance they will approve of it. So what you want to do is once you got that, you want to... And if you were already on my models when you made it, you need to just press another one and then get back on it. Because you need to pretty much refresh it to get it back on. But if we do stop and we insert it in, as you can see, we have a model of yourself. But if you can tell, there are these green things there. Pretty much you can just ignore them, you do not need them. And as you can see it had all the stuff that you saw when we were in the game. You can delete anything you don't want, like the health or the sound or the animate, if you don't want any of that, because sometimes people don't want it to have sound when you move it or make it fall from somewhere and make the jump sound or you don't want someone to be able to kill it so you can delete health if you want but pretty much that is how you would make a model of yourself and you can use it in your game or whatever and also I found out if you don't want 
one, these screen things, you can go through, click each one, and just delete them if you don't want those on there. But they won't be showing when you actually put them in the game, so that's good. And that's pretty much how you do it. So if this helped you, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Roblox tutorials. Bye!